until Ghanaians, until Africans get to take a deeper look at the after policy. After policy is not going to be what we really want it to be. It's going to be as the normal according beside it at the university or in the secondary school that like OCOAS, UNDP, UNICEF, UNESCO. We aren't there to study acronyms. Mm -hmm. AFSA is a working policy. Okay. What do we have to do? We should be able to what, capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. There's an available market for goods and services. Mm -hmm. So if we are willing and we are able to change our mindset from the consumption mindset to the production mindset, we will be comfortable. I don't, think, I don't think that somebody will want to travel outside just to go and stay there. Mm -hmm. we, are just, we are rather doing what? Working out the economy. Do you get it? We can equally make Africa. We can equally make Ghana our own like our like best deal, our biggest deal. You get it. It's nice to see, okay, I'm a Ghanaian, I'm wearing the Ghana colors, I'm wearing the Ghana ring. And you, put the and you go out there, you're going to go and stay there. Please come back home. We need you. back again to another amazing episode this is the entrepreneur series african entrepreneur series we interview africans youth you know people who are on the continent and you know starting up a business doing something great here to motivate even people living in the diaspora to also move back you know do business on the continent and i went to a, a meeting and i met this amazing woman who has rebranded you know um, black soap other you know, body essential oil and stuff like that and so it's amazing so i invited her on the show so without further ado welcome on the show Thank what should you. i call you afb afb now people are watching you for the first time they don't know who you are can you briefly introduce yourself all right okay so my name is alice from my button there is Chief Executive Officer for AFB Golden Enterprise. I'm a trained accountant at AFB Golden Enterprise. I'm into the production of green hair care products, green skin care products, plant based household chemicals. We do skills training and development. Wow. So basically, it is Alice. And we also run a foundation by name, the 9th September Foundation. So you are a CEO? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, welcome on the show. Thank now, you. Now, I wanted to speak with you more about how. Your journey started you know, okay. for you to even do your own businesses where did you school how did you um, school what did you do why did you decide to do um, your own products or even start a company okay so okay where are you going to start from <laughs> where will i start from that was the question so education okay so let me start from education mm -hmm. so like i said earlier i'm a trained accountant I'm a product of Kofuri Jazz Technical University, mm -hmm. one of the best universities in Ghana. <laughs> like Aguirre. the only university in Ghana, the rest are. Aguirre. We only have two universities in Ghana, Kofuri and the rest. <laughs> so, a product of that university. Mm -hmm. I read Master of Technology in Accounting, okay. but I had to do HD in Accounting first. So, during my national service period, I was doing my top up on weekends. Okay. So, during that period, I happened to be the National Service Personal Association, their Eastern Regional Financial Secretary. Mm -hmm. So during the process, COVID. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So we had um, a donation project to okay. embark on. So I was like, these are the donation projects I was embarking on. I'm the financial secretary, mm -hmm. and I would definitely have to draw a budget and incur some costs so far as we will be donating something to the right. public. So we had to sit down as a team, as a committee, and decide on what are we going to donate. Mm -hmm. So we then decided to donate sanitizers, liquid soap, and other PPEs. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, with sanitizers and, pe and liquid soap, it's something I, I know how to do. I should know how to do it. Okay. With sanitizer, I was totally new to it. Okay. But with the PPEs, like liquid soap and the arrest, mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, something like a toilet mm -hmm. If you give me seven years, I won't produce a toilet in Ghana. <laughs> No smacks, it's not mm -hmm. possible. Okay. So, what will I do? So, I was like, okay, for the liquid soap, I should know how to do liquid soap because I remember back then on campus, 
we had an entrepreneurial segment and we were taught how to produce the whistle. And funny enough, I was the group leader. Oh, wow. So I had to front line the making of the liquid soap. And that was that was just my wow. first time. So I then remember that when I was on campus, we did something like liquid soap. So let me try. So I then bought the stuff crazily. I was like, I would produce this product. I won't go and buy it outside because the budget was just outrageous. Wow. And we wanted to minimize costs to the barest minimum. So I then went to the market, bought the stuff used to produce in the liquid soap. And I produced the liquid soap. In addition to the other product, to the, uh, to the other products, and right from campus, I love branding. Like mm -hmm. it makes us stand out. Mm -hmm. I was the first publications officer on my campus, okay. so I had a little tips when it comes to branding. So I then had to brand the liquid soap so nicely. Mm -hmm. In addition to the other products we we're going to present to the people, so the SB, um, the donation Delicious. they came. When it came, I had to go with my team and my regional directors and all that. Mm -hmm. We got there, we had to donate to the regional hospital for mm -hmm. And they were like, wow, like, thank you, God bless you, that kind of thing. Wow. So I was there once a while, somebody who works there was like, Madam, please, where do you get a little bit soap from? I want to buy some. And I was like, I produce. Wow. I do that myself. And they're like, are you for real? I said, yes, I produce the piece soap. So people felt like I was joking. People mm -hmm. felt like, mm -hmm. Like, oh, she's just saying something. So she gave me some orders to produce something for her. And I did. And later when I told my colleagues that I know how to do sanitizer. Mm -hmm. I produce sanitizers. Really? My friends were like, you, you're an accountant. <laughs> how possible? You are being dramatic. Exactly. I have the same question. From accounting <laughs> to producing uh, sanitizers. And liquid soap. So I was like, I can produce. They're like, I don't trust it. You can't produce. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. So immediately, before I realized, they're calling me, please, I want liquid soap for the weekend. Wow. I was like, really? So I started producing. Then I, I wasn't even thinking of having a company. So, ah, if this thing is selling, why don't I just get a company and do something about it? Mm -hmm. So I went to register general. I was like, I want to register a business. And they're like, really? I said, yes. But I want to be a liability or a supervisor. I was like, for now, I'm a supervisor. So I did register my business. And in less than a month, I got my certification. So along the line, I produced sanitizers. And as, as I told you, I was the Eastern Regional FS. Mm -hmm. So, among my network, we had people who were like, they're going to do donation project, they wanted liquid soap sanitizer. I was like, I produce. They're like, wow. are you for real? I said, I produce. So, that year, I single handedly produced sanitizers for the whole of Ghana mm. for the National Service Personal Association. Really? Yes. Yeah, so, every region would come, ask, can you please um, customize sanitizer for us? So, for instance, Volta region, mm -hmm. I had to brand sanitizer in their name. Greater Accra region, how to produce sanitizer and brand in their name. Bring the Hafo region, how to produce sanitizer because everybody was doing donations at that time. Wow. And funny enough, when I finished producing the sanitizer, I took it to the lab. It's going through the lab. I took it to FDA and by God's grace, it passed. Wow. So automatically, it was a business for me. Wow. So from here and the people will be calling. And funny enough, I do small quantities. I do big quantities. Mm -hmm. People were calling from here and there. I want, I want sanitizer. I want it branded. So some people, when they're having their weddings, engagements, I just get to produce. Um, things for coming for our wedding, mm -hmm. after birthday, that kind of thing. So I was always producing. And funny enough, I was doing my top up on weekends. Mm -hmm. So I was so stressed. There were days I wasn't going for lectures. Mm -hmm. There were days I had to write medicine and I have a order I was to produce. So it was just coming. I was producing for churches, institutions, and all that. So and you were seeing money. I was seeing money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the game changer was. Um, I produced for Nukes. Nukes? Yes, Nukes. that's National mm -hmm. Union of Ghana Students. Yes. So I produced for them. Mm -hmm. And it was a like it was a wild experience. Mm -hmm. So Nukes sold my brand mm -hmm. and were like um, some institutions came asking that who produced for them and they had to say it's A and B. So I was there one day and University of Cape Coast called. Okay. The ISR was like, please, mm -hmm. like you have a nice product. You were recommended to us. Mm -hmm. Can we have an invoice of your product? That's for the sanitizers. And I was like, yeah, you can. Why yeah. not? So <laughs> all these all these people were calling you. Yeah. Because of one thing, donation that you did. Yeah. And they saw the work. Yeah. Now you were doing an accounting. You had yeah. you had to do your top up. Yeah. And you have orders everywhere. Yeah. So How did you deal with that? Uh, <laughs> interestingly enough. Mm -hmm. What I started doing this was like, I found fulfillment in doing it. I didn't see myself as an accountant again. 
Wow. Even though I wanted to chatter, be a, be a child accountant. But then and, your parents have paid for your fees, so. Oh. You're an accountant. It's it's more How like. How did you feel when you told them, listen, I love what I'm doing. Doing now. Interestingly enough, okay. when I completed my national service, I was home. I had to readjust to the situation that um, I'm doing sanitizers, I'm mm -hmm. doing liquid soap, I want to do something else. Most of my friends knew that when it comes to gigs and deals, for Alice to work at an institution, she might be able to get it. Okay. So when people call me like, what do you do right now? Where do you work? GMPC, Cocoa Board, TVL, where do you work? I'm like, no, I work with AFB. I'm doing sanitizers and liquid soap. Some will laugh, <laughs> you sanitizers, nice girl like you. When it comes to dressing, you can dress. When it comes to business, like you can do anything. Why are you so why didn't sanitize? Sanitize? I was like, you know what? This is what I want, I want to do. So it got to a point, my mom sat me down. She was like, Alice, you went to school for how many years? Let's come and do this. Come on, apply for a job, do something. And I was like, yo, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this. And she was like, no. So it got to a point, even my kid brother, it was like, you are the only graduate I'm seeing doing this. Really? Mm -hmm. You went to school, what you say? Just come and do sanitizer and liquid soap. I wanted to come to university, but because of it, I won't come again because wow. the field doesn't look bright at all. Wow. I was like, really? I don't mind. Wow. So, at the point, I felt like I was just alone. Mm -hmm. Nobody was convinced as to the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. People feel like, that doesn't mean she's applied for a job, she's not gotten. And that's why she's doing this. And so funny enough, was, uh -huh. since I completed the university, I finished my service, I have never written an application. Wow. I have not even updated my CV. Wow. See, people looking for a job because you are so busy with. I'm busy with this, and aside that, I find for even though it's not going as I expect, but mm -hmm. I believe it's a journey. God, that we will get I there. I think it will go. People are watching, <laughs> and your story is amazing because we we support people like yourself, being an entrepreneur on the continent. But sometimes our parents have a vision for us. I want yeah. my son to be a doctor or this whatever. Yeah. And then anything you, you call your passion is like it's like no 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 yeah. no no no. Just do what I'm telling you to do. I paid your fees to do that and nothing else. It's true. But you're doing this and it's everywhere. I saw yeah. you almost <laughs> at every every pop-up shop by JIPC, uh, by uh, City. Is a bank. You know, and then the vice president was, was <laughs> there. You know, the vice president yeah. of the whole country was at your boots. And he was so surprised about mm -hmm. the African black soul, about the share, but I was like, we do this in Ghana, yeah. And I said, yes, I package here in Ghana. I produce here in Ghana. You didn't wow. believe it. And wow. But then we, 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 we are capable. Absolutely. Someone is watching you. They finished uh, university. They are sending their CVs out there. They are not getting exactly what they are, but they have some skills. What would you tell them they should do? Okay. Um, if I want to speak as a Ghanaian youth, I'd say that it's beautiful to be a graduate. Mm -hmm. It's sweet to come out there, go out there. I got first class upper. Mm -hmm. like I got first class, second class upper. I'm good. I'm knowledgeable. But trust me, when reality knocks you down, mm -hmm. like it's beyond <laughs> having a certificate. It wow. goes beyond that. Just find your passion and work with it. Mm -hmm. Until the Ghanaian youth change your mindset from mm -hmm. the consumption mindset to a production mindset. Mm -hmm. Ghana will be Ghana, Africa will be Africa. But if we are all supposed to think that, okay, I'm out of school, I want to do something, I want to create a job, mm -hmm. I want to be able to make life a better place for not just me, but for the people around, mm -hmm. please, yeah. we can all do this. What, what about those people who are saying that it's not possible for me to make it here unless I go to the US UK? Hmm. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Before I completed the university, mm -hmm. one of my biggest Activations was to travel outside, mm -hmm. go do my masters, mm -hmm. come back to Ghana. Mm -hmm. At the point, I felt like, okay, even if I won't come back again, I'll just go live, continue life, get married, <laughs> have babies, live a beautiful life because the economy is, is quite funny. Mm -hmm. But after studying what I'm doing right now, I don't see myself living outside. Mm -hmm. If I go for holidays, I just go sell products and come back home. Wow. This is my route. This is wow. this is this is my this is my inheritance. Wow. And so I'm able to make Ghana as the diaspora mm -hmm. like what are we doing mm -hmm. for how long are we going to rush out there like what do we want for the mm -hmm. same money mm -hmm. you can you make a money right in ghana you get it so wow. and funny enough currently we haven't the after policy flying all over being able to trade beyond borders in africa mm -hmm. the interesting part is that mm -hmm. 
until Ghanaians, until Africans get to take a deeper look at the after policy. Mm-hmm. After policy is not going to be what we really want it to be. It's going to be as the normal according beside at the university or in the secondary school mm-hmm. that like OCOAS, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. UNDP, mm-hmm. UNICEF, mm-hmm. UNESCO. We aren't there to study acronyms. Mm-hmm. After is a working policy. Okay. What do we have to do? We should be able to what, capitalize on that. Mm-hmm. There's an available market for goods and services. Mm-hmm. So if we are willing and we are able to change our mindset from the consumption mindset to the production mindset, we will be comfortable. I don't, th- I don't think that somebody will want to travel outside just to go and stay there. Mm-hmm. We, are just, we are rather doing what? Working out the economy. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. We can equally make Africa. We can equally make Ghana mm-hmm. our own like our like best deal, our biggest deal. You get it. It's nice to see, okay, I'm a Ghanaian, I'm wearing the Ghana colors, I'm wearing the Ghana ring. And you, put the and you go out there, you're going to go and stay there. Please come back home. We need you. So you are telling them in the diaspora to come, come back home. home. We need wow. you. <laughs> wow. A lot of people go through frustrations. Yeah. They are like, bringing up a business in Ghana is very challenging. Yeah. What has been some of the challenges you faced even trying to bring out this brand? Mm. I mean, the challenge is every, it's not all shine shines and rainbows. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. So, what has been some major challenges you faced bringing up? Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Like I said earlier, I started with sanitizers, liquid spray, and other stuff. Mm-hmm. But to be an adaptable business, right now, COVID is on the low. Mm-hmm. We need to be able to adapt to the system. Okay. As time went on, I had to change my line of business. Okay. Yes, so proprietor, we produce, we produce that. What is speak now, I do green skincare products, okay. green hair care products, okay. plant based household chemicals, wow. skills training development. Wow. At a point, my biggest gig was sanitizers. But as I speak right now, my big deal is skincare and hair care products. Really? Do you get it? Let's talk about so it's it. about. <laughs> so, this is the mm-hmm. African share butter. Okay. This is the premium grade hair share butter. Mm-hmm. This is very edible. You can use it for your fry or egg, for your chocolate, any more you want to prepare. And guess what? This is also very good for the skin. Mm-hmm. You, I know most it's of like you. This is in Kuto, right? This is in Kuto. Oh, okay. Most people don't really know that. In Kuto is edible. You get it. But my Kuto is premium grade A share butter. Well, I like your packaging. Thank you. And it's one kg. It's one kg and it's probably made in Ghana by your Australia. And read here, 3% of every sale we make goes into skills training for the marginalized. Okay. You get it. We don't just want to train them. We want to be able to train them and see them more working. Because the economy, the economy was to do what the economy has to be sustained. Mm-hmm. You get it. So in our quest to be sustainable, what do we do? When we train, you should also be working for us. Wow. As time goes on, you be on That's your nice. own. So this is my hair fertilizer. That's the premium hair fertilizer. As of last year, we won the best hair products in Ghana. Really? It's, it's strange, right? Yeah. We were in entrepreneurship Ghana. We won the best hair products. It was like a dream, but it happened. Wow. From accountants to <laughs> really the best hair products. <laughs> So, wow. this is uh, African black soap. Mm-hmm. Wow. Proudly made in Ghana. I love black soap, by the way. By yours truly. This gets to take care of your acne, mm-hmm. rashes, mm-hmm. skin diseases, funny, funny stuff I on your body. <laughs> this gets to take care of everything. Wow. And everybody out there would need this. Mm-hmm. I saw you. I these mean, are best beds. This, do you know, let me tell you a story. Tell you me. See, I have a little skincare issues okay and i traveled to india for injections using so many expensive okay. foreign products and i never really saw a change okay the remedy i've been looking for was just right in your country doors, and i didn't know you wouldn't know so someone told me to start using the black, black soap. soap so me hearing you say this yeah i can vouch for it yeah and this is made from the cocoa pot ash shea butter mm-hmm. palm oil coconut like wow. this is a must have wow. just have a natural glow say no to bleaching mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm a proud black Ghanaian. <laughs> I look good in my skin. I'm so comfortable, confident in my skin. Why are you throwing shorts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not throwing shorts. And this is our beard booster. So the beard gang out there, you want to grow your beard. It's one thing to grow your beard. It's another thing for your beard to look nice and attractive and smell good. It's for, for the us, men? Yeah, for the men. Okay. For the men, you just come get this. Mm -hmm. And for our ladies, this is hair growth oil. This okay. gets to fix your edges. You can see? Okay. My hair is so natural, okay. so long and so full okay. and sweet. It's one thing to have a very healthy hair, it's another thing to have mm -hmm. a long hair. Yeah. The focus is to do what? Is to give you what? A very healthy hair. We are very health conscious when it comes to our products. Let me, let me see the, the men one before you move to the next. <laughs> now, I know one of my friends is really suffering from getting beards. Uh -oh. Okay, if you're watching this, there is no offense, please. Yeah. I'll put the number on the screen. Please order one. We need one. Okay. I know how you're suffering. Oh, other one. You need one. You so need do you just just be my just be my what do you call it? <laughs> be my brand ambassador because mm. in less than one month you should be working you for you. Changes, you Unless see. you have a spiritual problem. Okay. You get it. <laughs> so this is a preset black soap. So this is preset with turmeric, sandalwood. Avocado butter, shea butter, rice powder, cocoa powder, mm -hmm. just for your skin. This is black soap, and I tell that what the black charm because it is well processed. Mm -hmm. It just gives you a sweet, mm -hmm. natural feel. Like I said earlier, our products. Yeah, you would love it. Mm -hmm. you see our, products? our products are green. It doesn't cause any harm to the environment. It's sustainable. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, and this is black soap. Can I take it home? Oh, I wish. Don't worry, we talk about that. <laughs> so, it's been quite challenging and funny. Mm. I'm here today as a young entrepreneur. I'm just two years into the business and I must say, it hasn't been easy. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Mm -hmm. As I talk to you, I'm here to say, oh, I started my business, my mom gave me this, my daddy gave me this. Funny enough, my daddy is late. Oh. My mom, she's a fashion designer, mm -hmm. it's pasta and She's not so much on top of what I'm doing, but Wait. trust me, to just speak, she's Wait. so proud. Okay. You see, she, you saw her I as saw the exhibition. Mom. Yeah. Now she's like, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm the CEO's mother. Like when I was saying <laughs> that I wanted, I, I, I want to do this, she didn't understand me. Mm -hmm. You get it. As I, as I speak currently, I'm here to say, this institution gave me this amount of money. She started my business. No, I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. As of the money I got to my, my national service and. Mm -hmm my mm -hmm. big brother and one or two friends who are close to me i do get some soft loans from them sometimes mm -hmm. that is where i am right now wow. but i have quite an, an alarming quantity for me to produce i yes. can't produce the orders are coming plenty yeah just come and i can't produce wow. why wow. because i don't have the money okay. aside that when you go to the bank for a loan i don't mm -hmm. have a mobile property wow. i'm a property. young entrepreneur when i told you like get to hit a million for me to you, you see, this is what I'm saying. It's like, not easy. There are great minds on the continent. Yeah. Okay. But it's always the institutions yeah. are not willing to support. Even though the government is currently supporting entrepreneurs, how much loan are they giving to startups? You see, if you guys are watching this, it's, you know, being an entrepreneur on the continent, I can tell you, it's not it's easy. It's not easy. You know, she is a young entrepreneur. She, she did accounting, but her true calling, her purpose is, <laughs> yeah. is true. Because I find fulfillment here. Yes, it, it gives you happiness, you know, to be able to do this. Yeah. All we can do is to patronize and support. Yeah. Okay, support. Her telephone number will be on the screen. You know, if you know Momo or whatever, <laughs> you can also show love, okay? But... Yeah. Just patronize, buy the products. I recommend. Listen, she can ship to you anywhere you are. Anywhere you are. Anywhere you are, within seven business days, you will have it. Unless maybe something happens. But seven business days, you have it. There's a little we can do to make sure people like herself, you know, doesn't get discouraged in you know, yeah. starting their own uh, businesses. So with that being said, do you think it's still possible to make it here in Ghana with all these challenges you've been through? Yeah, it's possible. I'm living on being optimistic because right now I have an alarming order I would have to supply. Okay. The only challenge so far is being able to assess funding mm -hmm. to be able to supply them. But if I have enough working capital, mm -hmm. so okay, if I have enough working capital, I'm good to go. I'm okay. happy Ghanaian. But till then, that doesn't mean I should give up on this, no. travel outside the country, go look for money and come back. By the time I come, my relevance is gone. Someone has already sold I can't risk ideas. it. No. <laughs> the only thing yeah. I can do is I would have to keep calling. And funny enough, it's an interesting journey. Okay. 
Okay. I keep learning day in, day out. I so thought for the day when mm -hmm. AFB Golden Enterprise would be a household name. Amen. Not just in Ghana, but in the world. Like, yeah. it's so close. I see it happening. it's happening. But so then, I can't yeah. give up. I mean, the fact that the vice president held it and was oh. very surprised. Yeah, there. <laughs> okay, you mean, just the after you were talking about, yeah. I see people in Kenya, Nigeria, and other places buying your products. Yeah. And as it's speak currently, um, we're talking our product to the Ghana Ism Bank. Okay. okay so yes. they, they opened a shop just last week or last two weeks, and okay. we have our products there okay. the African Black Soap Shampoo, okay. the so Black Soap. Where, where can other people find your products? Are they on shelves in some um, malls and stuff? Okay. Um, I've spoken to some malls and mm -hmm. mats and shelves, mm -hmm. and I've so, given them samples, mm -hmm. and funny enough, they love the products. Mm -hmm. They're like, Alice, can you please supply us four boxes, five boxes? Wow. But you know, in this business, mm -hmm. retailing isn't easy. Mm -hmm. You'd have to supply them in a month's time. They come and Before pay. Before you pay. Yes. I don't have that working capital. Yes. So it, I just have some fulfillment that I've given my product to them. And they, let's say they want it, which means it's a working product. Yes. When an investor comes right now, what do I do? Just take the money, produce, and supply. So what, what do you need? What would be something if people are watching they could help or contribute to? Okay, um, I would need um, some working capital and mm -hmm. some equipment so as to be able to fast track mm -hmm. the what do you call production. it the production process. Okay. And if I'm able to get access to some sweet packaging materials, yes, mm -hmm. my packaging materials are sweet and nice. Okay. You can see we are using a glass jar, zero plastic, and all that. But assuming I had enough working capital, I would be able to order a particular packaging containers. Mm -hmm. The ones in Ghana mm -hmm. have been imported in Ghana, all right, but it's very expensive. Really? So it, yes. makes, yeah. so it makes the cost of production high. quite high. So if I'm able to have enough working capital, what happens? I will be able to buy the packaging materials in large quantities. Okay. And with that, I will be able to minimize the cost of production, okay. maximize perfect, and enjoy some economies of scale. Wow. wow. So, I love that. I love that. Are you open to um, partnerships? LLC, if you want partners? Oh yes, you're open. I'm hoping to partnership collaborations. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm hoping. As I said, <laughs> I will leave your information. Is that okay? Can I? Yeah, put your that's phone? fine. I can put. I will put the uh, her information on the screen. Also, um, means you can reach out to her email, WhatsApp number, yeah. Instagram, and also Momo or any type of uh, payments um, platform. Yeah, platform she has. So yeah, this has been very inspiring story. This has been inspiring. Your friends now, how, how are they feeling now after so many uh, years? Now? Today happens to be my birthday. And okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. Guys, yeah, so we sing birthday songs for her. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now we are not going to do that. <laughs> All right, so um, today happens to be my birthday. Wow. And one thing I was noticing everybody was saying, mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Alice. Happy birthday, CEO of Every Good Enterprise. We are proud of you. Mm. Happy birthday, founder of Nice Little Foundation. We are proud of you. Mm. Happy birthday, CEO. The CEO was just ringing. Everybody was just saying, CEO. CEO. It's like, interesting. But two years ago, everybody was saying, Happy birthday, ex SRC president. <laughs> Sorry, ex SRC PRO. Happy birthday, uh, it's a real FS. Mm -hmm. But as of last year and this year, it has changed. Everybody's like, it's not saying, Happy birthday, now. CEO. You are so hardworking. You inspire. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, you are a leader and more. Mm -hmm. Like, the message was just coming. I was like, you wow. See. And funny enough, most of my friends today, they will come into my DM. Mm -hmm. I said, how are you doing? You are doing so well. You really inspire me. I'm proud of you. Wow. Thank you. But go with the days when I was taking this path. They were laughing at me. Oh. You felt like, what are you doing? Like, when I told you think you would try and get to the top. And interestingly, I get to go for programs. Mm -hmm. I get to go for a preaching events and I end up winning. When I'm done presenting, most women in my network, mm -hmm. sometimes guys, they'll come to be like, Madam, how old are you? When I mention my, you're like, you seem too young for your achievements. I was like, people really? grow old and they achieve nothing too. I'm here to make an impact. Amen. No time should go wasted. Wow. And so then we keep going. I'm so, here to make an impact. <laughs> no time to go wasted. So my friends announced they're all so proud of me. Some now feel like, stopping what you are doing, come to do something. Some even come. Alice, I want to start a business. Can you have the business idea? Mm. Like, like, not everybody can be an entrepreneur. Mm. It takes a particular mindset. Because mm. it gets to a point, you don't have cash. Yes. Or you have a stock. And what do you do? Mm. You have to step out and like run the Try day. But when you get out, everybody feels like, she's okay, she's fine. 
I don't have anything on me. All I have is a stock until I sell. I can't. Do you get it? And sometimes most people think that the entrepreneurship you are doing is for survival. No. Until you're able to give up whatever you are doing to focus on one particular thing that you are doing, forget it. It's not entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. If I can't give up on it, eight to five work I'm doing and you can't, I can't come myself as an entrepreneur what am I pushing exactly. I'm busy working for someone I'm using my side time to do what I'm doing it's a side business do you wow. get it so it's about the mindset it's about having that inner drive wow. it's one thing to say I want to be an entrepreneur it's another thing to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. but until then wow thank you I like that wisdom ladies and gentlemen <laughs> if if you will have a last message for those watching before we sign up, what would that message be? All right, okay. So, to those watching, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We don't take you for granted. And definitely, I know definitely, you have an interest. Mm -hmm. And that's the deal. Mm -hmm. An interest to partner, an interest you support, an interest you call it make an impact. Mm -hmm. An interest that you're thinking of, am I staying out there, am I coming back home? You know what? You can have a conversation out of this place. Fine. But aside that, the time is now. Until you take that bold chance, we take that bold step. Mm -hmm. We won't have it. So I think let's just let's all come out of our shelves and like let's take the risk. Take the risk. It is what it. Okay. It's us. Wow. Yes. So you leaving accounting behind and taking this, do you think it's been worth it for you or you have some regrets? Never. Never? Mm -mm. No regrets? Mm -mm. It's been worth If I was an accountant in a firm today, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been here. Yes. If I was an accountant in a firm today, you I would have been like be... any other graduate that's going to university yes. and she's working. I'm not, that, I'm not that type. Like, it's not wow. me. Like, there is more for me out there. I'm looking forward to be able to resign at the age of 35 years. Stop doing this, doing something else, and somebody else is managing it comfortably. Okay, so start without saying, without wow. thinking of what is happening, who is doing this. No. Wow. It's a business. It should move. Wow. My business should be able to stand without me. Okay. You get it. Okay. So leaving the accounting aspect and do what I'm doing right now. Wow. I think it does. It wasn't wow. easy, but I think I don't regret. And I'm glad I read accounting. Wow. Because I've been able to manage, at least manage, manage my business yes. to some extent. Mm -hmm. And at the point, you are the, you are the graphic designer. Mm -hmm. You are the brain behind the business. Mm -hmm. You are the accountant or the marketer. Mm -hmm. You are the Everything. social media. <laughs> and the, it's not easy. But I have been able to enjoy every bit of it. Mm -hmm. And yes, like I said, 35 years I should be out of here. Wow. Doing serious farming. Wow. Farming? Of course. Hey, really? You <laughs> yes. said yourself becoming a farmer? Of course. Why? <sighs> fine girl like you. It doesn't matter. Why do you want to be a farmer? Fine girl like me. By God's because I know I'm fine. I'm not <laughs> beautiful. But there is more to life than being a beautiful girl. Wow. Like it's a that. woman much more than a pretty face. Wow. There is. A force driving the green economy. Mm -hmm. Agriculture will be a cash cow in the next five years to come. Wow. Like, is the risk worth taking? Yes. Wow. Is the time now? Yes. What are we doing? Let's get wow. into it. So, if people are watching from the diaspora, you are telling them to come to Ghana and do Come farming. to Ghana, let's get into the farm land. Let's wow. go weed. Let's go and cut some trees down. <laughs> not the one, not the vegetation ones. No, 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 no. Why, let's why? go and do something. Why your thinking is different from the ordinary um, graduates, Ghanaian graduates? Because most of them are going to seek for job. But you are seeing everything, the opportunities that is lying around everywhere. What may, what opened your eyes? You say? Okay. Um, I mean, you said that in first time you did a um, liquid soap that's created this ripple effect. Yeah. But what opened your eyes before then? I've learned something as a young girl. Mm -hmm. Three things makes an individual or influences the decision of an individual. One has to do with education. Okay. The other has to do with experience. Experience. The other has to do with environment. Mm. Interesting. I grew up in an interesting environment. Mm. My daddy was a doctor. Okay. But he's gone. He left too early. Mm. And uh, funny enough, today happens to be his birthday, so I share the same birthday with him. Oh wow. And sometimes I just wish um he was alive to at least see me and be proud because i remember he kept telling me something was like alice i will bet my button dollar to make you what you want to be back in the days i wanted to be a street journalist a presenter out there but everything changed wow. life will define you yes. 
my experience defined me. When I went on campus, I was so much into leadership. I was doing something all the time. At any point I find myself, it's like I'm always leading the front. Mm. And it, that has been able to make me learn a lot so fast. And leader. funny enough, when I go to places, I listen a lot. I don't talk. Wow. You get it. There is a time for you to listen and there is a time for you to talk. And funny enough, most of my network are grown-ups. Wow. I don't have these regular young girls, yeah. young guys, let's go and hang out, let's go and party. party. Life is too busy for that. So that's my birthday, I'm not going anyway. Wow. I've been in the room since morning. I just stepped up for the interview. Wow. Yes, yeah, there is time for that doesn't mean that those parts they're not focused. Okay. You get okay. it. It's about time. what you were at a particular point mm-hmm. in time. Okay. You get it. So wow. I think it's just about the environment, your educational background yeah. and your experience. My experience has really defined me. It has really, really made me a much better person. Wow. You're a very smart young woman entrepreneur. Now, some men and gentlemen are watching and they're like, <laughs> wow, this woman, who is the lucky man? Lucky man. Yeah. Do you think if I have a lucky man, I'll be struggling looking for funding? <laughs> I'll be looking for funding. When, most of the time, when the men come, they'll be like, a woman can't be overly ambitious. It's not right. Really? You are a woman. You should do this. Ah, but really? you see, a man who feels intimidated by a woman is not the kind of man I want to be with. Mm-hmm. I know where I'm going. The future is so promising, it's so nice. Mm-hmm. I can't take that risk. So if at the earlier stage of I'm not even putting anyway, mm-hmm. you want to cut me, don't do it, it's not the best. Wow. At least if the best you can do for me is just encourage me. So Wish me well. Wow. I equally you have a dream. Okay. I equally compliment your dream. Okay. You get it. Right? Wow. If I had a man, I wouldn't be here. Pushing. Maybe I would have been a pump. Maybe I would have been a pumped brat. And what are you doing? Can we go hang out? Let's go here. Are you see, I'm I here. I'm sugar daddy. <laughs> sugar daddy. I don't do that. Well, so you are single. Yeah. Someone is single. watching right now. Can Hello. You slide in the DM? I'm single. Can you slide in the DM? If it's going to wear the salt, why not? Okay, guys. If he's ready to make me a better woman, and I'm also ready to make him a better man, why not? Okay, I'm looking out for my guys. I always do this. Oh. I'm going to put her Instagram on the screen. Hey, my Instagram is a corporate account. Okay, corporate, okay. Before you okay, can get no. her attention, buy a product first. Okay. Yes, subscribe to, a, subscribe to a six-month product. <laughs> so every month, I got to supply your skincare, your hair care. Oh, really? Your, yes. You packages like that? Yeah. Tell me about it. Okay, so um, for instance, if mm-hmm. I happen to be a customer, okay. it's one thing to have a product. Mm-hmm. It's another thing to use a product. I probably need you using the product so I can improve on my product. Okay. So I need your feedback to work on. Okay. So you don't buy my price and put it there. No, mm. it's a money though, but I'm to manage you. Okay. I'm to hey. manage your skin. <laughs> I'm to manage you. Sure. Like, it's a grooming set. Okay. You get it. Okay. Most people don't know that the number of times you take in water determines what your skin looks like. Oh. It determines how well your hair will grow. Skin mm. care is about consistency. Skin care is... It's a whole vibe. You can't just buy a product and I can visit the product is not working. No. How did you learn this? From accounting to learning how? I'm a student of life. I learn every day. I learn anything anyway. Wow. I'm even learning how to fix the camera right now. I'm learning how to <laughs> pose for a picture. I'm learning how to. I'm learning a whole so lot. So you of were things. saying they can order it in like it's a package in every month. You yeah, said yeah. So within six months, mm-hmm. I should be able to say, okay. You know, when it comes to green products, that's natural products, it takes time. Mm-hmm. I probably don't bleach. Before having effect. You get it. It takes quite mm-hmm. some time. But when you use them consistently, it works perfectly for you. For instance, if you used um, you have a nice thing by the way. You used thank the, you. Products. I'm a proud Ghanaian, and I use AFB Golden products. Like <laughs> so you, you can see if you use um this product with the bleaching ingredients, it's gonna take time. Do synthetic products for the system to adjust to a natural product. Okay. You get it. Okay. But if you are a person that you're already using a natural product, then you can see effect immediately. You get it. Okay, but but if you my green, it has okay. to switch. Skincare is a whole concept. Okay. Hair care is a whole concept. Wow. 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 So before we leave, guys, if you're watching this video and you are enjoying it, I'm asking you to please like the video. Share to friends and family to enjoy it too, so they can see this young, amazing woman doing great things on the continent. Comment down below what you like about the video and please go into the description. Her links will be there, her telephone yeah. number will be there. Please go support her and also 
I was nominated for the best content creator of the year. Congratulations! Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Please vote for me. The last man told me didn't vote. Uh oh. But anyways, go vote. And go please, vote for me. I have also been nominated as uh -huh. a forty and a forty nominee. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know. Most people who know forty and forty know how serious. And what is forty and forty? It's forty and forty is an award scheme organized by the Soldiers Communication. It's a very so it means you are a big deal, right? It's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal. So I was nominated as the agri the agri panel of the year. So I'll be very glad if you all go vote for me. Please, guys. See, young people are doing amazing things on the continent. Please go support. Okay. Yeah. Now you already sent your last messages, right? Yeah, I, I forgot to add my number. Okay, so please. All right. So if you want to reach me, the number is zero two four six seven nine nine five zero seven zero two four six. Seven nine nine five zero seven. On LinkedIn, it's Alice Frimpuma Button. On Instagram, it's AFB underscore Golden underscore Enterprise. AFB underscore Golden underscore Enterprise. So for our, our foundation is is this ninth September foundation on Instagram and on Facebook. And my personal IG account is Alice underscore Frimpuma underscore Button. A proud and happy Ghanaian. <laughs> okay, so the reason why she gave the private one is for the young men. So oh, please. come on. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming. All right. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much for having me. This means a lot to me. <laughs> I don't take it for granted mm -hmm. and I love you all. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a wonderful uh, episode. And yeah, please like, share and subscribe. And yes, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.